Welcome to another episode of U.S. Immigration TV. Now, a big question that a lot of people have is, why are the priority dates moving so slowly on the monthly visa bulletin? In fact, there has been situations where certain categories have not moved at all for years and years. And it can be very frustrating if a person is waiting for their priority date to become current or uh, it's close to being current, but it's not moving. In the meantime, things are changing. Uh, perhaps the petitioner is getting older, uh, sickly, and people want to know, is there something that can be done? And in this video, I will discuss some of the things of what's going on, why that's happening. I want to be clear that unfortunately, unless and until your priority date is current on the final action chart of the monthly visa bulletin, you are not eligible to be processed for a green card. Uh, a lot of people say, well, it's close, or I've already filed my paperwork uh, based on the dates for filing chart. Where's my green card? Until that priority date is current, nothing can be done. Also, there's unfortunately nothing that can be done to help expedite. Uh, there is a office in Washington, part of the State Department, they are the ones who determine the movement of the monthly priority dates uh, based on formula and, and usage. The problem that's going on, it's, it's really just an issue of supply and demand. Uh, there is more demand for visas than there is the supply of them. See, each year, the U.S. government allocates a certain number of visas per country, uh, per different category. And the visa bulletin is moving forward or backward based on how that supply is being used up, either visa issuances at the embassy or adjustment of status in the U.S. It is a complex formula. Right now, it just seems that uh, there are too many people in line and not enough visas. Another thing, breaking news, I guess, in the April 2024 visa bulletin paragraph E, uh, the State Department discusses the anticipated movement of the priority dates in the near future. Uh, I'll just go through some of them. Uh, for the Philippines, they are expecting that for F3, that is married children of U.S. citizens, they're hoping or expecting that the priority date will move forward, quote, several months. I don't know exactly how many months, but just several months. Uh, for F4, brothers and sisters, again, they're expecting movement of several months. For the rest of the world... Um, which might include the Philippines, F1, single adult children of U.S. citizens, uh, in the upcoming months, they're expecting it to move perhaps at least three months. Uh, F2A, that's uh, minor children and spouses of immigrants, expecting it to move up to six months. F2B, single adult children of immigrants, expecting movement uh, of up to 10 weeks. Um, and again, F3 and F4, several months. For employment, and this is important if you're under petition by an employer, it's also going to be very uh, depressing. It says for employment-based categories, and I quote, very little to no forward movement is expected in the coming months uh, since the final action dates for many categories advanced for April 2024. In other words, they're saying we moved the priority date forward in April 2024, but for the next few months, don't expect any movement. And again, that is the State Department's present predictions or estimations of the movement of the priority dates for the next several months, perhaps up until October of 2024, because that's the start of the fiscal year. In the meantime, make sure while you're waiting, closely monitor your case. Make sure that you contact the NVC if you're processing abroad. Contact the NVC at least every year. Uh, communicate with them or, or go on to uh, your particular account uh, because there is a rule that you're supposed to contact 
the NVC at least once a year to show that you're still alive and interested. If you move in the meantime, notify either the USCIS or the NVC of your new addresses or any change in status. Uh, change of status, for example, if you're being petitioned as single by a U.S. citizen parent and you get married, let them know, although I would not advise to get married uh, because you might add 10 more years waiting time. If you were married and the marriage is terminated, like you're a widow widower uh, or you're annulled or divorced, uh, again, notify because that can make the priority dates become much faster. The bottom line is that it's a long line, many people in line, uh, and it is frustrating. Even when you are documentarily qualified, you're still getting notices from the NBC. Yes, you're documentarily qualified, no interview date yet. Uh, but especially when you're waiting for the priority date to become current and it's not moving. Um, Again, just keep in touch, keep your contact information current. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful, informative, although it's, I understand, very depressing, but I'm here to provide information to you, good or bad, so you know what is going on. Um, so please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'm Michael Gerfinkel, and thank you for watching U.S. Immigration TV.